This is simple subnetting and variable length subnet mask. I uh, want to start off with some simple uh, rules that apply that I keep in mind for everything I'm doing, not just Cisco and networking. Um, one of the main problems I've seen with a lot of the other students in my class is they tend to overthink things keep from doing this I should say is to make sure you start out not thinking about what you may need to do for this situation or scenario read what this situation is asking uh, see what the scenario itself is needing and asking for uh, it'll save you a lot of time and headache um, of course once you begin to read the scenario that's when you'll start to uh, figure out what you need to do or want to do uh, um, starting off with the subnetting this is the way I look at it I do a lot of this uh, in my head and I've had a lot of people ask me what I'm doing to be able to have zero bits for whatever reason uh, equates to all zeros um, for every eight bits that is one full octet or 255 in that octet okay um this is the address I'll be using for my example today 192.168.10.0 with a CIDR notation or slash notation of 24 all right, so just looking at that, we know our subnet mask, our classful subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. Okay, and um, this is another little tool. I, uh, after you do it a couple times, um, you'll you'll start to memorize these and everything like that after you've done it 20, 30, 40, 100, 1,000 times or whatever. Uh, um, once you start to go into an octet, the first bit, um, what you'll be doing is you'll be counting by 128 um, and the subnet mask will be 128 two bits you'll be counting by 64 the subnet mask will be 192 uh, so forth and so on um, also if you notice uh, um, if you're decent with binary you'll notice that these are your binary notations uh, starting from right to left you start out with uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 the, uh, so for your first bit into an octet, um, you're counting by 128, so your subnet mask is 128. Uh, your next bit, you're counting by 64, so your subnet mask is 128 plus 64, or 192. Um, for three bits in, you're counting by 32, subnet mask is 192 plus 32, of course that's 24. 224 plus 16 is 240, 240 plus 8 of course is 248 plus 4, 252, plus 2, 254, plus 1, 255, uh, or just simply remember them. Okay, um, so let's get actually into the variable length subnet mask. Okay, um, first thing you need to do is look at the problem and figure out if it's asking you to do something specific. If it's asking you to put LAN 1 on this subnet mask, LAN 2 on this subnet mask, if it does not tell you any specific requirements, the easiest thing to do is just to start with the, whatever you need your largest host to be. Uh, variable link subnet mask uh, so far I've seen is a lot easier to do thinking from the host perspective as opposed to trying to uh, do a normal subnetting and using uh, network bits. So I always start with the largest host. It makes it easier uh, to keep up with the counting and everything like that. Okay, uh, remember don't don't start thinking until you actually read what this scenario is asking for. Okay, you're given the address 192.168.10.0 with a uh, classful subnet of 24. Um, you have this entire IP address to use. What you want, um, your boss wants you to do is he has two departments that need 50 hosts each, uh, two departments that need 25 hosts, two departments that need 10 hosts and you have a, uh, a file server um, LAN that has two servers on it so you need two addresses for that okay um, and of course you need addresses for all the connections to uh, from all the different LANs to a central router um, each department and the server LAN has a router that is connected to the central router so um, what you're going to do is um, take into consideration um, did does this include the actual interface connections for your router uh, or do I need to 
uh, include one for that uh, however many addresses you would need for your routers depending on how many routers you have on that network um, we're just gonna go ahead and say that uh, this one uh, it's just two servers on the same LAN so you just have to keep in mind that's gonna be connected to a router so you're gonna need a uh, IP address a host address for the uh, interface to the router so alright uh, start off with LAN 1 since uh, since we said we need to start with the largest we'll just say LAN 1 is the largest um, once again we're starting off with 192.168.10.0 so we need 50 hosts the way we find that is 2 to what power equals 50 well 2 to the 6 is 64 um, this is another shortcut you see uh, 2 to the 6, 64. There's a 6, there's a 6. So 2 to the 6 equals 64. Usable host address, you have to subtract 2 for the network and the broadcast. So that leaves you 62 um, usable host address, which we only need 50, so we've got plenty. Um, once again, there are 32 bits in an IP version 4 address. So we take, uh, the way I do it, I take 32 minus 6 gives you 26. So that is your subnet mask for. Um, this LAN. So your um, sub, your IP address is 192.168.10.0. Okay. Um, next part of this is uh, to find out what you're counting by. Just um, 26, which was our subnet mask now, and the classful subnet mask would be 24. So that gives us two bits. So that puts us two bits into the fourth octet. Um, and as I showed you before on the little uh, cheat sheet up here uh, two bits in gives us 192 and we'll be counting by 64 so that helps uh, two bits in you're counting by 64 um, so once again 26 minus 24 is 2 uh, so you're two bits into the fourth octet which gives you a subnet mask of 192 in that octet in the fourth octet uh, so we know the other three octets are full because we got 24 once again we're counting by 64 because we're two bits into the fourth octet. Uh, so your next usable network starts at 192.168.10.64. Uh, see, I didn't put any kind of subnet mask on here. That uh, that should help alleviate any kind of confusion. Okay, so uh, start with the next LAN. All right, this LAN needs 50 hosts as well. So once again, two to the six is 64 minus two equals 62. 32 bits in IP version 4 address, 32 minus 6, 26. Alright, so this uh, this is your IP address, 192.168.10.64 slash 26. Okay, so you're taking, um, you know, you started with the 64 because that's where your LAN 1 ends. And then um, you figure you need 50 hosts. So you take, figure out you need 2 to 6, 64 because. 2 to the 5th is only 32, so you're short on your host. So 2 to the 6 is 64 minus 2, 62 usable host, um, 32 bits in IP version 4 address. All right, and since we're um, using a host, you start from the right and go left, so you just 32 minus 6 is 26. Okay, for the second part of this, you got once again you're two bits into the fourth octet so your subnet mask is 192 and you're counting by 64 uh, it's pretty much the same as the one before uh, like I said remember start to pay attention to your outcomes because you'll you should start to notice patterns and you'll just start memorizing them instead of having to actually work them out every single problem and you can see a, a slash 26 and realize automatically that it's uh, you're going to be counting by 64s and um, it's a 192 subnet mask or vice versa you see a uh, 192 subnet mask and you can say that's a slash 26 I'll be counted by 64 uh, it all works back and forth but um, so what we do is we take we start out with 192.168.10.64 for the beginning of this network so um, the next network will start at 128.64 plus 64 is 128 okay so your next network LAN 3 starts at 128 you only need 25 hosts